What's up guys? I'm Brisson from RossmerTech.com. How are you guys doing? I'm doing well. Hopefully you guys are doing well today too. Today, I got something to show you guys. As you can see right here, I got a, something awesome that I just created right over here. And I'm going to talk to you guys exactly what, uh, what I just created. Now, if you guys don't know, I did a video on this. This right here, this is the Super Pi case. Uh, the company sent me this out for review and I, I love it. I did an unboxing. Then today, I was like, working on like putting it together. The video of me putting it together and setting it up. So this right here, this is the bottom portion. That would be the top, this would be the bottom. So the way it works, basically this converts your Raspberry Pi and it turns into like a, a, a Super Nintendo Classic. But it, instead of like uh, like 10 or 20 games that comes with the Classic, you can install like Retro Pi and uh, play like 100 or as many emulators or as many ROMs as you have, right? So that's what that basically does. It's pretty cool. But I, I was finished and I was looking at it and I'm like, what can I do to make this better? What can I do to make this stand out? So I'm like, why not just water cool it? So that's what, what I did actually. So let's start off with this right here. This is the radiator right here. This is from EK. This is the cool stream PE. This is what cools the liquid that's coming from the CPU. This right here, this is the res pump combo. This is from thermal take. So I'll leave a link to all this stuff in the description. I've used these a lot in other projects. These, so these are the fittings. There are a bunch of fittings. I'm using soft tubing here. And let's go down right here. This is the Raspberry Pi, as you guys know. I set it up, I screwed it on into this case right here, I connected the two USB ports right here, and I connected this GPIO pin up here, and pretty much it's set up. Then this is what makes the water cooling possible right here. This is, get, this is the water block, and it's got these two tubes coming out of it. So what this water block does, it takes cool liquid in and pushes the cool liquid out. It takes cool liquid in and it pushes the warm liquid out. So see these little tubes? These little tubes get pushed into these converters. This converter turns the big tubing, which is right here, this big regular tubing, into this little tubing because the, the Raspberry Pi it has a small CPU in this. And this water block is pretty small, so and you need one of these converters to uh, turn the big tubing into the small tubing. I'll leave a link to everything in the description, including like this water block. So basically how the loop works, uh, let's, uh, the pump pushes the, the liquid right into here and then pushes it into this block comes out the other side it, it cools the cpu it takes it takes out the the, the hot uh temperature liquid it pumps it back into this uh radiator right here the radiator cools it and pumps it into this uh res pump combo which pumps it right back into this raspberry pi block so that's a cycle it keeps the cpu cool so that's how that works so i figured why not do something cool like water cooling everybody likes water cooling stuff so hey guys so i'm going to show you and we're actually going to test it out so right here this right here this is the pico power supply i'll leave a link to this power supply in the description i use this for all like testing stuff like single board computers and testing and stuff so this is connected to the pico power supply so if you see right here this cable here, which is coming off of the res pump combo, this is connected to the Pico power supply right here with these connectors. It's going around, and this is the Pico power supply right here. Again, I love this power supply. I have this uh, adapter that uh, does not come with the Pico power supply. What it does, it connects this to the to like the the header right here, and it and this adapter has a power button. So if I wanted to turn this on, so if I wanted to turn this on, all I have to do is push the button. I pushed the button as you can see the light turned on. As you can see, uh, or you can hear it actually, the res pump combo is on. That's how I'm able to control it with this button right here. So Pico power supply is awesome when I'm like building stuff and testing stuff out. I use this on all my like water cooling projects and stuff like that. It, I highly recommend it. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description, but you can hear it. I'm gonna go close to it. You can hear that it's on. It's pumping everything. The, the liquid's being pumped right now. It's very solid, it's not that loud, and it's pumping uh, everything through this loop. So I just wanted to show you guys it on, and I'm gonna run some benchmarks on it, um, playing some games. We're gonna install uh, RetroPie and set up all the Super Nintendo games. This video, I just wanted to show you it built, and uh, it's set up with the water cooling. The next video, um, we're actually gonna test out the performance. We're gonna, first we're gonna set up the retro pie and then we're going to test out the performance i'm going to disconnect this loop right here first we're going to test out the temperature of uh of this setup without the loop then the temperature of the setup with the loop to see how much uh difference uh, see if we're getting a, a lot of like uh help when it comes to thermals if you guys have any suggestions of what i should water cool next leave it in the comments if you guys like this video please give me a like 
If you guys want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmoreTech.com and thank you guys for watching.